everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marla. I make videos every week of the things that I make and that you can make too. This week, uh, my daughter Hannah's college roommate is turning 21, so she wanted to do something special for her, um, saw something similar to this on Pinterest and asked me to recreate it. So with a little, uh, about $20 in alcohol and some Dollar Tree supplies, this is what I came up with. So let me show you how I made it. Let's get started. Besides the alcohol, of course, <laughs> I got all the supplies at the Dollar Tree. I had a few of these things already, but mostly I used uh, double-sided tape and hot glue besides what I already had here. This is a plastic hat and a plastic pleat. Um, the hat doesn't fit exactly, so I'm going to cut off the top and then also cut around the hat so that I can make it fit onto that plastic pleat. I glue it on with hot glue and then I snip around the hat in order to um, push those sides down onto the pleat with just some hot glue. It's it stuck pretty easily. It's not a very clean um, process here but I just kept clipping and gluing until I got it all on there and um, you know it covered pretty well in the end. I used a pizza pan as the base and this paper uh, cone birthday hat. Mostly what I wanted is just the center part and then that, you know, glittery ribbon that's around the edge. So I cut off some of it and then I had two of these hats. So I needed two obviously to have the, the glitter tassel to go all the way around the pizza pan. Once I had cut it apart, I just fold it a little so because um, just to get it so that it's turning in the right direction. And then I glued that on with hot glue as well, using both hats to go around the edge. So this is some glitter paper. Uh, I, I decided to use this Pringle can and cover it with some glitter paper. The reason I did this is I wanted the bottles to be spread out enough so they covered a wider diameter and would be more stable on the bottom. That glitter paper, um, you know, rookie mistake, I didn't realize that it was actually a sticker until much later. So I did just tape it on to the can, but I will continue that mistake a little later when I go to make the numbers as well. Now I'm just using this foam double-sided tape to tape all of the bottles together and also attach the bottles to this hat on the top wasn't really happy with um, how that uh, my uh, gluing looked on that glitter plastic plate on the top. So I wanted to hide some of the imperfections. So I used some of this glitter wire. Um, it was on a heart, a plastic heart that I took off of a, a Valentine's Day project I was doing last week. So I was able to use it here as well. And I think it did a pretty good job covering up some of my imperfections there. Then I do the same thing using the double-sided tape to attach the uh, bottles together. You use the double-sided tape on both sides of the can, um, and, then they, and then they pretty much will just stick together. But then you also have to put the double-sided tape on the bottom to attach them to that plate. And once those cans are secure to that plate, we're gonna move on to the top layer. This is some foam board that I cut out uh, in a circle big enough that it will sit on top of those cans um, and have a little bit of an edge over. So I just cut it with a knife and then I'm going to cover it with that leftover um, paper cone hat and same thing. I just cut it a little wider, snip it around the edge and then tape it to the back. I don't like that the back uh, isn't covered here. I didn't have another hat, but I did have some little scraps. So I decided to cover the bottom with these little scraps. It's, you know, it's not gonna show, but if you're looking underneath, you're gonna see it. So even though the pattern isn't exact, at least it covers the bottom. And then the top looks great. But of course this little plate needs some extra um, dazzle too. So I hot glue a little more of that wire ribbon around the edge. 
Then I attach those little mini bottles to the top the same way I did the bottles in the can. Now we're gonna move on to the 21. Also cut out a foam board here. I'm gonna use some of that glitter paper from before to cover these numbers. <laughs> At this point, I still have not realized this paper is a sticker, so I'm gonna cover it with tape. But here's the tip when you're working with something that has a right side and a wrong side. You need to cut two pieces, but mirror image of each other. So one that is the right way, one that's the wrong way. And the back piece, you wanna be sure you cut it a little bit wider so it will go around that foam board. So the next day when I'm cleaning up my supplies, it's at that point that I finally realized this is actually sticker paper. I take the numbers apart, take all the tape off, and <laughs> um, redo them so that I'm actually using the sticker paper to make these numbers, and they turned out a lot better that way. Final steps here. I had some of this heart necklaces left over from uh, Valentine's Day projects that I didn't use, and also some of this pink tulle ribbon. So I just tie that in a bow around those bottom bottles, add any more glitter wire wherever I think it's needed just to cover up any other imperfections, and then we're done. I think the extra embellishments along the way added um, some detail, but also covered up some of those imperfections. And those tassels at the top were actually on the top of those paper cone hats. So I just cut them off and taped them to the top of those bottles. All right, it's done and all wrapped up, ready to go. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it is a great project. Um, even if you use different products to make it, I think you get the idea of how uh, you could put together some simple dollar store uh, supplies and make a tier like this. Perfect for a 21 year old, but really perfect for anybody who likes alcohol. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.